Hello friends, welcome again in this tutorial series based on PLC letter programming. In this tutorial, I am going to show you uh, these two real time applications with the help of letter programming in which you must notice that uh, same, load, uh, same letter logic is used for both semi and auto, uh, semi and fully automation. Only one thing is made a difference in semi and fully automation is the sensor. Here we want to fill the tank with water and with a human operator or we can say without sensor. In this figure uh, the start push button is a normally open switch and it is closed only when the button is pressed. On the other hand the stop push button switch uh, is normally closed type uh, and it is open when button is pressed. The motor of water pump which is started by pressing a start push button switch, the other push button uh, uh, type switch contact do not remain closed but the motor is required to continue running until a stop push button switch is pressed so the latch circuit is used to carry out such an operation it is self maintaining circuit in that after being energized it maintains that state of the motor uh, until another input is received to build an equivalent circuit using push button switch, two switches with uh, one normally open contact and one no uh, normally co close contact, each will have to be used to provide two contacts per input switch. If we were to press the start button input, uh, X1 would energize, thus uh, closing the X1 contact in the program, sending power to the Y1 coil, uh, which energizes the Y1 output. Uh, by applying 240 volt AC power to the real motor contact uh, contactor coil, the parallel Y1 contact will also turn close, uh, thus latching the circuit in an energized state. To stop the motor, we must press the stop push button, which will energize the X2 input and open the normally closed contact, so breaking the continuity to the Y1 coil, hence motor uh, is stopped. Here we want to uh, fill the tank with water without any human operator. This is possible by using two sensors. We put one near the bottom, uh, bottom and one near the top as shown in this picture. If the water level falls below the lower limit, the low level sensor will give a high pulse to PLC and PLC will turn on. Uh, uh, PLC will turn on the motor to pump water into the tank. Now motor continuously pumping water into tank until the level of water reaches to the upper limit. When the water level is reached to the upper, uh, upper level, high level sensor will send a high pulse uh, to PLC and in response PLC will turn off the motor. So same process goes on continuously and PLC takes the action upon sensor inputs. Here uh, this letter diagram is the blueprint of the circuit design. So start switch X0 is normally open switch and it is closed only when the high pulse is applied on it. On the other hand, the stop switch X1 is normally closed type switch and it opened only when the high uh, pulse applied on it. Now working of this letter diagram as suppose the water tank is initially empty. So low level sensor send a high pulse to the X0 relay or switch. Uh, in turn relay X0 will closed but parallel switch or relay Y1 is open and X1 relay is normally closed thus motor uh, turns on. Now suppose the water level rises above the low uh, water level so low level sensor will send a low pulse to, X, uh, to the X0 in response X0 will open again but motor will not stop because of parallel switch uh, Y1 is closed due to it hold uh, it holds the current state of the motor uh, so that is uh, latching. Now suppose the water level rises above uh, the high level. At that point, high level sensor will send a high pulse to the X1 in response of it. X1 will open and motor uh, will stop. Now, check this letter programming on GX developer and test and verify our logic. Uh, so write the letter program on, uh, as a line diagram. It's x0. x1 normally closed. 
so here the motor so name it's by one it's okay now uh, for latching y1 alright now letter diagram is done as I said earlier the same letter program is used for both semi and fully automation so now uh, test it and we can write the command x0 is a uh, start button start switch and x1 is the stop switch So it's a start switch and a stop switch. Now Y1. alright now convert it test test is complete now um, uh, verify it x1 relay is uh, associated with the so list is here x uh, x0 ok x1 ok y1 ok Now, X0 relay is associated with the start push button or low level sensor and X1 relay switch with the stop push button or high level sensor. As we see in this program, is the letter program. Okay. Now, suppose a start push button is, uh, is pressed for semi automation or for fully automation, low level sensor is sent a high pulse to X0. Now see the output Y1. So this pressed so force on and close to check the output. Now see the output Y1 is become one so motor is started and see the ladder diagram also. output uh, becomes one and motor is started now suppose the start push button is depressed now start push button is depressed so make it uh, zero again or so close motor is still on huh? so uh, for fully automation water level rises above the low uh, water level so low level sensor will send a low pulse to x0 in response x0 will open again motor is running because of parallel switch y1 is closed due to hold the current state of the motor uh, so the beauty of this logic is latching all right So there is a path through uh, Y1, X1 and Y1. Now 
if you press or suppose uh, the start button is pressed or uh, water level rises above the high level and uh, high level sensor will send a high pulse to x1 so make it 1 so close it and uh, high level sensor will send a high pulse to the x1 in response of it or uh, start button is pressed so x1 will open and motor will stop so x1 is open and motor is going to stop check it all right so Thank you.